Hey YouTube, how's everything going? Basically, I decided to do a uh, short informational video about the differences between between buying a pre-owned uh, watch, a uh, new watch, a store model watch, all the different options available to you, and the uh, basically the different pricing structures that um, that are come along with those different options. So. This is my first video, hopefully, of many to come, and I'll just uh, jump right into it. Right here, I have a Cartier Men's Ballon Blue. Um, it's reference number W69200002. Um, the retail on this watch is roughly 11000 Cartier, not including tax, Cartier has it for about 10900 10, Um and uh, this one, it, Cartier would not consider brand new. Of course, it's a store model. It's never had an owner before, but I consider it to be a brand new watch just because it's never been had, a, had an original owner. So the store model, basically, it just means that you bought it at a discount from a Cartier dealer and you're reselling it in your store basically is what's going on. It comes with box and papers and everything like that. You know, and like I said before, it's never had an original owner. So there's basically three options you could get when you're buying a watch. You have the, you know, you could buy it from the store, the retail, the flagship store of Cartier or, what you know, Tag Your, Rolex, Breitling, whatever. And you could basically pay full retail price. Um, then you have the option of buying, you know, from a jewelry store. They also pretty much all charge right around that retail price. Maybe they'll give you a 5% discount. And they're usually not making that much on a new watch. They'll be, especially on Rolex, you know, the discounts aren't that great. Um, they'll be making like, you know, 10%, 15% on Rolex. But, you know, as you get, as you go down the line to like, you know, obviously the less, the what people consider worse brands, you know, like Movado and that kind of stuff. That's you know they, they charge you pretty high premiums, and they're making good percentages because they pay 50% off of uh, what the generally what the quoted retail is. But for Cartier, it's pretty rare to find the company giving a bigger discount than about 20%. So this one, basically, like I said, it's the Men's Ballon Blue with the Exposition back. We have it for sale in our store at around 8,000, which is you know about a 20. A little less than 20% discount from the 11,000. Um, it's excuse me, a little more than 20%. It's in uh, obviously it's in perfect condition. Like I said, never has an owner. Pre-owned is really where I would advise anybody watching this video. You know, you really want the best deal because at the end of the day, you're going to wear this watch respectfully. Let's say the same way the person who wore it before you did. You know, you're going to look at it before you buy it. You're not just going to, you know, you're going to see the pictures. You'll see a video. You'll go into the store. You'll see a pre-owned watch. And you'll you'll get a good idea of what the condition is. You know, chances are you'll be looking at, like, at no less than 75% of a brand new condition. You know, maybe there'll be a couple scratches here and there on the, on the, uh, on the band. Maybe a couple scratches on the bezel. Usually the crystals are perfect just because, you know, they make them out of, whatever kind of material, you know, sapphire crystals, whatever they're made out of, you're not really going to have, the, the crystals are rarely get scratched up. And obviously, you know, for a couple hundred bucks, everything could um, be replaced, repaired. And on a, uh, you know, this watch, let's say, would cost about 7,000 used, depending on the condition, you could probably get them for in between six and 7,000 used. Um, you know, a great deal would be like, a really great deal would be like 58, 59 you, for, a, for a nice used condition watch. Um, yeah, that's basically, for this video, I think that's it. Obviously, I'll be posting more and uh, let me know if you have any questions. And uh, check our, we'll be making a website soon, but check out our listings on eBay. And uh, I'll put the links down at the bottom and uh, private message me if you have any other questions. And uh, thanks so much for watching.